New tonight, Governor Nikki Haley says that she will almost certainly sign a bill banning abortions past 19 weeks in South Carolina. News 2's Matt Alba joins us live in the studio with more on what this means for women in this state. Matt, good evening. Carolyn, earlier today, Governor Haley made remarks about the abortion bill, which was approved in the Senate last week, and tomorrow it's expected to go through a vote in the House. The pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act would make abortion illegal at 20 weeks of pregnancy or later. And today, the new law is one step closer to getting passed here in South Carolina. When it gets to my desk, I'll look at it and we'll decide then. But um, by nature, I have always signed pro-life bills and I can't imagine any scenario where I wouldn't sign it. Supporters say a fetus can feel pain at 20 weeks. What we now know. It's, it's not disputed. Unborn children feel pain. You can scientifically demonstrate that after 20 weeks of, of pregnancy, an unborn child feels pain like an adult. Opponents argue such later term abortions involve women who want a child but are confronted with a medical diagnosis forcing a difficult decision, which shouldn't be up to the politicians. Under Roe versus Wade, women have a right to an abortion and women get to make that decision. The new law would make the abortions illegal at 20 weeks, except when the mother's life is at risk or a doctor determines the fetus can't survive outside the womb. Also, the bill doesn't include exceptions for incest or rape. However, it would penalize doctors who perform abortions illegally. Tonight, News 2 reached out to Oren Smith, who is the president of the Palmetto Family Council and has worked with pro-life groups on the bill. Tonight in a statement, he said, We are very pleased that our pro-life governor, Nikki Haley, has already expressed support for the bipartisan, pain-capable, unborn bill. Her signature will make South Carolina the 17th state to enshrine in law the belief that an abortion should not be legal after 20 weeks, which is the point an unborn child can feel the pain of the procedure. Now again, the House is expected to vote Wednesday on a compromise the Senate passed last week. If it passes, it goes to the governor's desk. Similar laws are in effect in 12 other states. They have been blocked by court challenges in three others. We'll let you know what happens tomorrow. Live in the studio, Matt Alba, News 2.